Hey everyone, it's Shadow the Rat, and today I'm going to do another video in my rat highlight series. This one is going to focus on Shadow. Now, Shadow is the last in my trio of first girls, the others being Sonic and Ninja, and her backstory is basically the same as theirs. So, backstory goes that I was looking for rats in my area because I wanted to get rats after my last gerbils died, and then I couldn't find any, so I looked at the nearest PetSmart, and it didn't have any, and then I looked at another PetSmart and they had some rats. So I went there and there were three girls. I was originally going to get two females, but since there was three of them and I know rats are very social, I couldn't leave one behind and I just took all three home. And that turned out to be a good thing because two days after I took the rats home, one of them, which I called Ninja, ended up dying from viral pneumonia, which came on suddenly and sadly we didn't get her to the vet in time. We didn't get treatment in time and she just passed. Then Shadow came down with the exact same strand of viral pneumonia two days later and this time I saw her symptoms in time to get her to the vet and when they saw her they decided that it would be best to keep her there in intensive treatment. Now mind you, before I took Shadow to the vet she was super skittish. I mean this was a rat that you couldn't even approach in the cage. She would run away, she would freeze, she wouldn't even take treats when inside her little house. It was insane. But I took her to the vet anyhow because she was so ill and at that point she didn't care, she was barely aware of anything. And the vet put her into this oxygen chamber that I talked about in Sonic's video. And in this case it actually helped Shadow quite a bit. They had her on 24-7 vet care, they gave her Batril Doxy, they nebulized her with Albuterol and the oxygen tank provided relief and made it easier for her to breathe. But two days in, the vet called me and they were saying, well, we're not sure if she's getting better. She's not getting worse. She's pretty stable, but at some point we're going to have to take her off the oxygen. So I went there with the full mindset of having to put her down because the vet made it sound like that was probably the best option. But when I went there, there she was and she was so cute and then when the vet tech held her out to me she was cuddly and it was amazing considering that she was the skittish wreck just two days ago and she totally transformed into this little cuddly rat and he was like oh she's gonna be so cuddly when she's older so after that I just I couldn't put her down and we ended up taking her home with us and I ended up nursing her through the next two weeks and whenever I wasn't in school, I was basically upstairs with Shadow. Poor Sonic in the basement was alone, but Shadow got through it all on a ferret fight, cat food, and, well, Batril and Doxy. So, since it was viral, these antibiotics didn't really do anything for her. They just staved off any secondary infections. But even so, after two weeks, she started to improve, and by the third week, she was back to being a hyper rat. No more cuddling or sleeping on me, she was just too crazy, but she's still very, very friendly. So I took her downstairs and I went to introduce her to Sonic. That was really easy, they loved each other right away, and Sonic is a very shy and submissive rat, so Shadow was able to take over just like she liked to do, and that was that. And after that, Shadow was basically my perfect rat. I call her my eternal heart rat because she was the perfect blend of everything I love about rats. She was the first rat I taught tricks to. For example, I taught her to spin and it took me almost a week because I couldn't figure out how to fade out my hand, but once she learned it, she had it down pat. And then I had trouble teaching her fetch, but she actually helped me learn how to teach other rats to fetch because one day I was sitting next to a box and I had Shadow's pin cap fetch toy next to me. And Shadow went to chew it as she always did and she decided to jump to my lap for some reason and then I realized, oh, I can use the box to help teach fetch. And after that I used it to teach her fetch and Sonic fetch and now all my other rats know how to fetch the exact same way. So yeah, basically Shadow was my teacher and she was just an incredible rat. I absolutely adored having Shadow and I, I miss her every day, but she, she had a good life. She went through the same thing as Sonic on uh, April 17th of 2016. We had some house issues and we had to move out, go to a hotel for a while, a few months, and to some friends' houses. And unlike Sonic, Shadow took this very well. She came with me to my brother's soccer game. She loved it. She went to my school. She loved it. She went outside with me. She loved it. She loved everything. She was just very adaptable like that. And when I took her back to the house we were staying in and Sonic ended up passing away, she became really, really cuddly and attached to me then. 
because she didn't have anyone else. Then I got Latte and Barry, and we had some trouble introducing them together just because Shadow decided to be a bit of a bully and she kind of pulled out lots of Barry's hair. But after that, I did the carrier method with them, and within a day, they were sleeping together, they were all happy, and Shadow was acting like a maternal figure towards them. She was grooming them, cuddling them, sleeping with them, playing with them, all that fun stuff. And yeah, Shadow continued to be a cuddly rat after that. She continued to learn tricks, continued to do all these other cool things well into her old age. Shadow ended up passing away at around two years and seven months old which is pretty good for her. She had no other health issues other than the pneumonia early on in life, and later on she developed a mammary tumor at around two years and two months old, and she had this mammary tumor until she died, but it didn't have anything to do with her death, which was according to the necropsy results we got due to some spontaneous lesions of her adrenal gland, which is apparently something that is common in Worcester rats. So yeah, that's my video on Shadow. I know this video sounds a little less put together than the other two, but I can't help but think of Shadow as a very special rat. She definitely got me into rats and <laughs> can't help but measure up everyone to her. She's She was just great. And that's why this channel is called Shadow the Rat. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I will continue to make videos on the rest of my rats, well, in the next few days. Bye!